Hello, this is Soulfight here with Vibrant, giving you a Demonology Warlock POV of our first Mythic Rashok kill. Um, Demonology is definitely the play here, especially if you have 4-piece and Clash Trinket. If you do not have those two things though, uh, Destruction is okay on that fight, and I would say Affliction is okay too, but uh, Demo is definitely the best. Um, in terms of talents, you're going the pure single target build with Vile Fiend and Shadow's Bite. Uh, playing Nether Portal, of course, too. Um, there are a couple logs of people running Fell Covenant, but I personally don't find that playstyle enjoyable, and it is much more to maintain and more punishing if you do not maintain that buff. Uh, and it's not even that much of a significant single target increase, so... We're just playing the single target build without Fell Covenant. Uh, most important things for gear, you want your double shadow flame embellishments, and you want your clash trinket, and you want your four piece. Everything else is okay. Uh, as demonology, you have an option to run the file of corrupting rage potion, which will give you the most bang for your buck in terms of damage. Um, if you find your group struggling with healing, though, running the Tepid Verse file isn't a bad option on this fight, too. There is a lot of healing, a lot of damage going out, so uh, helping out your healer is always, it's always a good option, too. Um, let's get into the fight, though. Um, Pre-pull stuff, you can set up your circle in the middle here for the first two. Uh, I'm going to refer to it as phase one, kind of the non-intermission phases. Uh, you can kind of port in here and get a little more uptime. It's not too important though. Um, let's get going. I'm going to do the standard opener power siphon with two imps out, double uh, shadow bolt, and, and another portal with PI. most important part of this fight for every single class not only warlock is dodging waves uh those waves do i want to say somewhere around like 300k damage whenever you hit them and with the damage that's already coming out you really can't afford to get hit by them uh as a warlock it's a little more forgiving because we are so tanky but uh, you still want to avoid hitting them if you can uh i pre-spread there um to get these soaks just because uh, I know when they're coming out, and I know that I can position myself to help soak them, and the dot you get for soaking them does a decent amount of damage, so uh, having a tankier class soak them definitely helps. Right now we're just dodging waves, doing the standard demo filler rotation. We're getting ready for our second tyrant though, which should come right after the cone. We're gonna fell guard dogs, getting our vile fiend back up, and now we'll tyrant. Probably should have mortal coiled there. I still had okay. There we go. Um, that healing debuff going into the intermission can be kind of scary. So uh, making sure you're topped uh, topped off before the intermission definitely helps. I had a bit of a wave there, but it happens. Um, popping Mortal Coil during Spirit Link is a good thing too. I didn't do it there. For some reason I popped it after, but uh, this 
in my opinion, is even scarier than the end of the fight, uh, just because people are trying to save their personals and their healing cooldowns for the end of the fight, so these two uh, Meteor Soaks are very, very sketchy. Um, I guess now, now the fight is as good as time of any to bring up CD timings. This fight is very odd in the sense that it is a about six and a half minute fight. If you don't kill it at around 6.30, it kills you. Um, which is not ideal for the three minute nether portal cooldown. Um, there are some people, like myself, who pop the second nether portal at about the 310 mark. Um, and that will give you your third nether portal at about 620. But you won't get the full value from that pit lord. I just find it better. Not better. I just find it, for me personally, it feels better. Um, there are some people who hold the nether portal, the second nether portal, until five minutes with your second pot. Um, and so that would just be the case. Uh, you would just hold that nether portal. You wouldn't use it and you would line up your uh, your, your next tyrant um, with the third nether portal. Sorry, sorry, second nether portal and the second pot. Um, that probably mathematically is more valuable than popping it at three minutes. Um, I just found this more comfortable for my personal playstyle. That felt kind of bad there, got some bad waves during my nether portal ramp, but that's kind of going to happen regardless unless you just get lucky, so wasn't the best ramp in the world, but it is what it is. So you see how we have a tyrant coming up in 26, 25 seconds. We would hold that tyrant until our second pot is up, which has, it looks like there's 40 seconds on our second pot. So that'd be at about, uh, what is that? 515 ish. So we would hold that tyrant and our nether portal until that 515 mark and pop all of them with our second pot. But I didn't do that. I opted to do the second nether portal at three minutes. Again, was pre-spreading there for these upcoming soaks. And again, this uh, 515 mark, um, this would have been about when we would have used our second nether portal. Uh, we would have held the tyrant that I just sent for that nether portal with our second pot, but I opted to do the second nether portal at three minutes instead. Uh, this part of the fight, uh, there's a lot of damage going out, so you need to be liberal with your personals, liberal with your hellstone and health pot. Uh, if you're in danger, use them. There's just so much going on. We got kind of lucky here. We had really good waves. Uh, if you get a wave going right through that spirit link and a single person hits that wave, you pretty much all die. So that's, that's fun. Looks like I got lucky on this pull. I wasn't selected with a single one of the slams. Um, if you are, as a warlock, it is valuable if you have the priest to have one of them grip you. Uh, just because, I don't know, that movement is really annoying. And here's the enrage coming right at 630. And you can see, here's our nether portal. It just got off, so it got, what, two seconds of value there? Not really worth it but uh, it is what it is
And uh, that's the fight. If you want to catch any prog, uh, check me out at twitch.tv slash soulfattv. Uh, sadly, I don't have any recordings of our Z-Skarn or Magmarax kill because my internet was being terrible. So I wasn't able to stream them, but uh, it is what it is. Thank you for watching.